thing going on that we would go. Um, decided, learned a couple years ago when we did the Fiesta Bowl and then the Rose Bowl back to back, that the Fiesta Bowl I kind of rushed it um, and practiced all the time and didn't give my kids a break. And so what we did was we really we went really hard through the 24th, and then we got up and on the 25th of the morning we had breakfast lifted to kind of get a little anxiety out of us, uh, met and watched all the film that we had at practice wise and then had lunch and then came here and then today we wanted to make sure uh, Fiesta Bowl again I had not I did not go out and see the Fiesta Bowl and uh, I ki our kids were a little bit uh, starry eyed and so the next year against in the Rose Bowl we went and saw the Rose Bowl three times in fact <coughs> and so for us um, that's why we went out today to make sure, and we'll probably try to practice there one time uh, before Wednesday, and then uh, we'll start back tomorrow with we'll have three practices like a regular game week. So get ready to go. But we're we're way into our game plan, so we're ready to go. It's always probably a little tricky with the just the break, you know, between your last game and, and your bowl game. How do you kind of manage that time passing? Well, it was a lot better. Uh, two previous New Year's bowls where we had forty some days. Or we played up to the sixth this year, uh, so uh, here in the Chick Fil A Peach Bowl, it was a lot easier. Basically, our kids got a week off. We're a little bit different too. We can't practice during finals, and so we didn't. Uh, Ole Miss practiced the first uh, two weeks ago, where we we were off until Thursday. We actually the night of Thursday we had most of our finals done, and so we got practice three and four on that Friday, Saturday had graduation off, and then we went Sunday through Wednesday hard four hard ones, but. Uh, we had two off weeks early in the season where usually we end up with about 88, 88 or 89 practices for the season before you go into bowl practices, and we were at almost 100. And so for us, uh, I, I was very careful. We were still physical, went back just like we do early in our practices, physical, get ready, get your bodies ready for uh, to play a team like an Ole Miss that you have to be able to be physical. And then the farther we get into bowl practices, like this week we'll have one practice in shells and we'll have two shorts practices. That's all we have left uh, here at uh, here in Atlanta. So uh, you got to get your shoulders and your legs and be able to run. I mean, it's one of those games where you better have all that you have. So. I know you've been asked about Ole Miss. You've commented on the different opportunities that we've had media-wise. But more specifically, now that the game plan is kind of coming, getting much further into it, what are your thoughts on them defensively? Uh, Speed-wise, well, that kind of stuff. Obviously, I think there's five or six guys that are on All-American teams. So right. Obviously, they can really play. They can play on defense. Um, our guys cherish the fact it was kind of the same way when we played Texas. It was about their defense and our offense, and our defense was the one that showed up that night. We had five or six takeaways, and so uh, you know we've been known for defense. So really, it's, for me, it's it's a no. It becomes a less pressure uh, having called on the side of the defense because it's it's about us scoring points and them stopping both sides. I think. Uh, story will still come down to uh, their offense, our defense, just like it always does in special teams. But, you know, with not as much time off, both teams played late, you know, into early January. So, um, excuse me, into early uh, December. So, you know, neither team is really is going to be that far away from playing their next ball game. Just watching their schedule and how they've handled things, I think both teams will get ready to go and, and understand there's a lot of good athletes on the team. And to me, it it looks like two teams that like each other, and when you have two teams that like each other that have great chemistry, then they play hard and they, and they play fine. To me, it's uh, got a chance to be one of the best bowl games of the season. So, uh, you know, a lot of respect for Coach Coach Freeze, a lot of respect for the program. Uh, obviously, we come this first time coming this far uh, east in a while. So, um, but you know, it's uh, it's all the same. So, it's, our kids are excited to be. We we've been excited since we heard that this is who we we're going to play. I don't think you would have liked any other matchup, knowing that they'd beaten two number ones. Uh, they're ranked as high as three. And so for us, uh, real excited about the opportunity. Because it's not just the end of the season. It's about, you know, we have, I think we lose an offensive tackle and a wide receiver and a tight end off of this offense. So, and then we add. So you have everybody coming back. We lose some defensive players. Uh, but you have an opportunity, to, you know, to really jumpstart the next season going into the spring and what you want to do because in a couple weeks we'll be back into off-season program getting ready to prepare for next year. So, uh, you know, I think you learn a lot. A lot of people don't practice and they kind of take bowl games as, as uh, you know, just a reward. And, mm -hmm. and I, I've been to uh, 23 or 24 bowl games and the only time you really truly enjoy them at the end is if you win. 
And so uh, kids need to have fun, they need to do things, but you know, our whole thing is not just about this year, the legacy of our seniors, because our seniors went through a lot the last two years going into the Big 12. You know, especially coming off a of four and eight year and turn it into 11 and one, they basically set the groundwork for the younger group and uh, the group needs to carry it forward. And so, uh, you know, you have a lot of guys that uh, have a lot to play for. And, uh, you know, Sam Carter came in as a red shirt at the Rose Bowl. So he's gone from the Rose Bowl to a four and eight, now to 11 and one playing in a Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. So you have, you have two game, you know, two New Year's Day type situations. Uh, and so, um, you know, our goal is always to give our seniors the best opportunity and the best season they can have, and, and we need to finish the journey.